bit of a frustrating situation, but like the, 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 the most difficult part is the fact that things are very unclear. Luke Shin worries the new federal travel restrictions will keep him separated even longer from his family. I haven't got to see my son who was born in South Korea just about two months ago, so I was looking forward to March 25th. In August, Shin's pregnant wife and three-year-old traveled to South Korea. The Edmonton-based family decided it would be the best place to give birth, closer to family. At the time, South Korea was doing a better job of fighting the virus. If these sort of measurements, measurements were in place right from the get-go, we wouldn't have planned to return to Korea whatsoever, knowing all these sort of long-term problems. According to the new travel restrictions, when Shin's wife lands in Vancouver in March, she will have to quarantine in a government-designated hotel for three days with her newborn and young child. Shin worries there won't be proper setup for a single young mother. I'm happy to do like three weeks self-isolation if needed with the rest of our family uh, at home and do more intensive measure that way. Setting everything up as one size fits all. I find that as a very complicated situation. Shin does have one glimmer of hope. Tuesday, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said there will be rare exemptions to the new travel restriction. There may be particular compassionate or humanitarian exceptions that must be made in, in given situations, and we'll look at those. The Prime Minister would not elaborate on what those exemptions might be. Ottawa's new testing and quarantine requirements are set to combat the new and more contagious variants of COVID-19. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.